Hey, this is YBR back with my summer car and today we're gonna go shopping and I asked you guys what I should buy and I got a good idea of what to buy because I was too lazy to look it up myself and hopefully you guys weren't trying to deceive me and I actually buy things that I should be buying so I'll pop into the store and I'll go over what you guys said so first off I know the fan belt is essential because that was key before and I didn't have one so we definitely need that now fire extinguisher I had one dude who really insisted I needed one and I'm like, wait a minute, how could I possibly catch fire? And then I realized, you know what? I died seven minutes into this game or so from a train crashing into me. So there's probably a pretty easy way to catch fire. So we're going to get that. And then for brake slash clutch fluid, I was told I'll need three or four of those. So we'll just go with four and hopefully we have the money for it. Motor oil, I was told one or two. So we'll go with two. Two stroke fuel is for the boat and the moped. And I'm not interested in those at the moment. So we don't need that. Coolant is one or two. Battery is necessary because the one at home kind of sucks. And then oil filter, same deal. So we'll get all that and that puts our cost at 1,926. So we still have about a thousand left. So you know what? Give me every package of sausage you got. That puts me at 2,057. And there's still a few more things I want to buy. Well, kind of a weird thing to say about a liquid, but I need to go and buy some gasoline and diesel. So we're going to move the van over there to make things a little bit easier because I don't think the pump will reach all the way here. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. And is it going to take forever to turn on again? Yes, it will. Even though, like, in terms of game time, all I did was go and take a big boy poop and came back to the vehicle and it was taking forever to start up. And, oh, hey, somebody was messing with my car. The handbrake is on again. I did not do that. I did not put the handbrake on. Somebody is messing with my vehicle. All right, I don't know which side the fuel is on so here's my brilliant plan we're gonna stick the back end all right up next to the diesel and hopefully we'll be able to work from this position let's just take a peek outside before we do anything all right no fuel tank there it looks like all right fuel tanks there and that looks like it should reach that's not very far at all so we'll go ahead and shut this thing down before we fuel it up because that does not sound like a safe thing to do you always tell you no cars running when you're fueling up your vehicle and i believe in that so Turn it off, back out of car mode, and let's get to fueling things up. First off, we'll do the van itself. Oh, we gotta open the cap, right? Can we do both at the same time? No, because I'm only a one-handed monster. So let's see. Open. Then do we have to unscrew? Yep. Grab this, and try that again. That is diesel, right? Okay, good. Like, I see the green, and like for the US, if you see green, that usually means diesel, so that really throws me off. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, is this the right gas? And it is. And that's another thing, actually. I had somebody leave a comment saying about the glow plugs in this vehicle. I'm like, oh my goodness, you're right. This is a diesel vehicle. If it wasn't for that comment, I would probably be putting gasoline in this thing right now like a complete dummy. I know in real life, that's a terrible, terrible thing to do. I have no idea what the game would do if you tried to do that. It might just not let you put it in. It might let you ruin the vehicle. I don't know. And at this moment, I don't want to know. Maybe sometime in the future... I will want to know, but right now I'm just trying to get things started up. So we'll pop into here and grab both of the gas cans. Oh, that was kind of, oh, there we go. All right, we're going to just take them out all at once because it felt kind of weird doing this. So one, two, how do we open that? There we go. Aha! This is the lazy way of getting through. So we'll put this thing upright and we'll put this one upright as well. And we got to figure out which is which. That one says diesel. Pretty easy to figure that out. So we'll put the diesel in it. Oh, wait. Aha! This one I can actually open it with the thing in my hand. See, that's the power of having two hands. Actually, you know what? I've ever seen both of my guy's hands at once. Does he actually have two hands? Let's see, if I try to hit things. Okay, he does have two hands. He's fine. Because I just tried to hit things and you saw two hands. All right, that is filled up. So we close the top and we put it into the van. We'll drop the diesel because we don't need that anymore. And now we'll fill up the gasoline. Grab that nozzle and fill it all the way to the top. Takes a little bit of time to gas it up, but it's still quicker than real life. It takes forever. And it's always so annoying because we'll pull up to a pump and you're just letting your gas pump. Some dude will pull up afterwards, pump up and leave. It's like, what? How? How do you do that? It's like, did he just get a little bit of gas? And you're trying to take a peek, seeing how much gas he took and why it was so fast. Done. We'll go ahead and put the gas nozzle down, close the canister, and then we're going to toss it into the van. And we'll go ahead and close the top door right here. And I'm not going to worry about that side door. I don't think it'll fall out in the short drive we're going to do because I'm just going to drive to the front of the store. 
I'm that lazy. We're gonna drive to the front of the store because I don't feel like walking that far. That I think it'd be fun to just drive a short distance like that because it's so utterly pointless. And again, this thing takes so long to start. It would have been so much faster just to walk, but no, I said, look, I'm gonna do this. No matter how stupid it is, this is the plan, and we did do it. So how much do I owe him? $2,211.74. Okay, I know it's not cents because it's in a different currency, but that's just the word that comes to mind for me. So yeah, I'll take it. It's amazing. It's all in one basket. Well, oh, wait, no. All the sausages are in one basket. Everything else is a big old mess of things. So toss the sausages in there. And we'll make sure he actually gave me everything I wanted. So there is one motor oil. There's the other one. Okay, so there's two of these. So I'm guessing the brake and clutch fluid ended up in the shopping bag. Otherwise, they would be flooding everything all over the place here. And this is going to take a while doing each of these one by one by one. I want home delivery for my purchases because I am that impatient. All right, fire extinguisher is at least in. So if my everything catches on fire... I'll be okay. It'll suck, but I should survive because I have the power of a fire extinguisher. And to be honest now, I am getting bored of moving things back and forth and back and forth. I should not have bought this much. That's the problem. I bought so much that I just don't feel like moving it all. And the thing that sucks is when we get back home, guess who got to move it into the house? That's right. It's me. I have to move it. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh wait, what's this on the table? Fire extinguisher holder. Well, yeah, I guess I did pay for that, didn't I? So this is mine. You can't have it anymore. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, everything has been shoved in here. Good enough, it looks like. Let's close the door, make sure nothing's like clipping on the outside. All right, we are ready to go. Awesome. Time to head home if I can find the way home. I got nobody to show me the way. I got to find it on my own. But again, this thing is going to take forever to start. Shouldn't it be ready to go? It was just running a second ago. All right. Parking brake is off, so we just go into gear. And also, I never took it out of gear. It did that itself. Hey, mean people. You're mean. I don't like you. Lope is that way. So this is not Lope? I thought I was at the Lope. I went to the wrong spot this whole time, and nobody told me. Okay, I kind of feel like I'm sitting way too close to the windshield because I can't even read the gauges. But I'm too lazy to adjust it, so we're going to just have to live with it. Stop sign. Better follow the law. Look how good of a citizen I am. We stop, we look that way, we look that way. I can't see nothing because of the sign, so we inch forward. It still looks clear. So off we go. We're gonna just try to go back the way I came, but I don't exactly remember the way I came. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find it. Like I remember there were a few intersections I drove by before I actually churned into the shopping area. So I know I gotta skip a few of them, but I don't know how many exactly. Oh man, look at that dude in his regular car. I want my regular car. We got to fix that thing up. That is the next goal. After we get home, we're going to fix that car up and it's going to be pretty and ready to go. All right, so there's another look at that nice looking car. Not as nice as mine's going to look, but it still looks better than the junky old van I'm driving. I mean, I say a lot about this van, but at least it goes decently fast for a van. That's all I can ask from it is to go decently fast. Can't expect it to actually be fast. Ooh, look at that. It's a big rig. I mean, he got supplies. i go ahead and do one more upshift so we're in top gear now. So we do not want to go down that road. That I know for certain. Because it's not the first option. It's either like the second or maybe even the third. And I don't know which. That's the bad part. I have a general idea, but I just can't remember. And this thing's got to steer. Why is it not steering? Steer! We do not need to crash into a tree and die. Also, when I first played this game, okay, there was no seatbelts that I remember. So you know what that means? We ain't gonna use no seatbelts. We doing this old school. Because I do not remember seatbelts ever being in the game. That's just a crutch. A good player doesn't need a seatbelt. He makes sure he doesn't... Well, I was gonna say he doesn't die, but I have already died before. So I can't say that. What I could say, though, is back then I wasn't good. I was only playing the game for like 7 minutes at that point. Now I played it for like 20 minutes. I am so much better now. Yep. That makes perfect sense to me. And we are going probably too fast for any sort of corner. So I should slow it down. But nah. Nah. No, we're not gonna. We're, we're gonna keep going fast until I crash and die. And then I learn my lesson. 
and then I have to restart, which will actually really, really suck. So maybe we shouldn't. No, let's learn the lesson. The other lesson is stay on your side of the road. Very important lesson. I feel like I want to have another gear because this thing is running at such a high RPM, but it just doesn't have another gear and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, it's starting to do the death wiggle. Why are you doing some death wiggles? Don't do that. That scares me because I feel like I can't control the vehicle when it's wiggling like that. Alright, that's better. So when I have my own car, it won't death wiggle at those speeds. It'll death wiggle at 10 miles per hour because I've assembled it completely wrong. Again. But I think this time I really know what to do. I think I do. I don't have much confidence in anything I've said this whole video. Except you guys told me what to buy. That was with confidence. Whether or not you guys told me the right things, I have no idea. I trusted you, and you guys betrayed my trust. How could you? Wait, there's a turn. Is that the one I want? Okay, I remember there was like some really bright green, and that like attracted me. And it was kind of downhill. So I think this is the way I want to go. And which way did I actually get here? So I think... I need to do a left and then a right. Or maybe it's a right and then a left? No, this is definitely a left right here. Okay. What I need to do is I need to put like little signs. You know, just buy some sausages and throw them on the side of the road and they, they work as little signs to show me which way to go. That would actually be really smart. They would show me the way. Oh, I should totally do that. Next time. These sausages are for eating. Whoa, come on. Get on the road, car. It did not want to steer. So now nah, I'm going to go straight into these trees and say, Hello, trees. I wouldn't let it, though. Put those brakes on. Can we get any airtime anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Not without being stupid risky. Like, I wouldn't mind a little hop, but I don't want to fly off the road and crash and die. Like, maybe right there a little bit? No, it's not as bumpy as I thought it was. It's just the shadows. Well, I think I want to go to the right here, and I don't have enough time to slow down because I was looking for hops. So I'll just have to cut a little late. Go ahead and do a downshift. Get into second gear. Maybe want first gear. Nah, second's good. Second's good. Hey, what is that light over there? Is that by my house? Or is that... I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My natural enemy. The train tracks. Be careful here. Peek. Put in the first gear so we're ready to move. Go, 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 go. Ooh, that, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be as stressful as it is, but right now that is the most stressful thing I've ever done in this game because of the that death, that first death. It scared me. I am scarred for life now. Every time I see train tracks, my heart rate increases. I move like a snail and I'm making sure ain't nothing about to hit me. But I haven't died yet. Well, I've only crossed it like two times since then. But it's still a major improvement over dying every time like we started off with. Oh yeah, and I can upshift. I forgot to upshift for a while. Alright, so if those are the tracks though, we should be getting close to home any minute now. And once we're at home, we'll put everything where it goes. And maybe start fixing up the car? I'm not sure. It depends how long this takes. We'll see. I think this might take a long time moving all that stuff into position, so we might not have time to fix up the car. I also don't know how long I want the My Summer Car videos to be. I don't know if they should be on the shorter side or on the longer side. You guys can feel free to leave a comment. But probably what I'll do, because this is the smart thing to do, is I'll just look at the stats. If I see like 80% of the people stop watching at about 15 minutes, then I'll make them 15 minutes. If 80% stop watching at like 20 minutes in, then I'll make them 20 minutes. You know, that kind of stuff. That's the logical way to do it to me. Because it's mathematically proven that this is the way that would be the best for you guys for enjoyment. Okay, so there's nothing over there yet. We want to go a little bit farther to get to the house. And is that the house? It is the house, right? Wait. What is that building? That's the house. Okay, yeah. I was looking for the garage. I'm like, where's the garage at? That doesn't seem right. Alright, we're here. Car, are you ready to be built? I hope you're ready to be built because we're going to build you probably next video. Let's put everything away, though. Before we make any promises and stuff. Open both of these up. Oh my goodness. I left that partially open. Things could have just came flying out and I would have never known. That is a scary thought. Alright, so fuel can go into the garage. That's a very logical place for that. Set it right there. And we're going to do that for both of the fuels. And we'll actually do that for the oil as well. 
So diesel, yup, no. This is gasoline, see? I'm still in that mindset where if I see a really green thing, I think diesel. But in this game, gasoline is green, diesel is not as green. But still kinda green. It's not confusing at all. Alright, motor oil, we'll take that. And I have no idea where to mount the fire extinguisher, that's something I'll have to figure out eventually, but... Put that there with the gas. We'll do the same with the other one, and then we'll do the same with the coolant as well. And the battery, and whatever else there is that I bought. There's one more thing I'm forgetting. Oh, the fan belt. Actually, I did not see the fan belt. Hopefully, it is in the shopping bag. If it's not in the shopping bag, I have made a huge mistake. Because I don't have a fan belt after all of this. And if that's the situation I'm in, I will be really frustrated. The majority of this, though, is going to be food. All those sausages. So, we're going to open it up in the kitchen. Because I got so many sausages. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm open it up inside of the fridge. And hopefully, it just explodes in the fridge and I can close the door on it. So, we just say, grab it. Place it, and then I think F to open. Yep, there we go. Okay, that actually worked amazingly well. Like, all the sausages are falling out now. But all the not sausages fell out first. Which is good, because the not sausages do not belong in the fridge. Unless this is my mixtape. My mixtape has to always be in the fridge. We do not need a fire. Although, if it does catch on fire, that's okay. Because we have fire extinguishers now. So, maybe I could leave my mixtape out. It's risky. But we could. All right, all put away, and we do have a fan belt here. So we'll go put this in the garage as well. And one thing I just not, not realized that's kind of strange, to me as an American in California, because this is more of a California thing, houses in the Midwest are like this, but this garage has no doorway directly from the house into it. In California, that is very abnormal. Well, I shouldn't generalize California because it's so big. But in all the houses I've ever been to or seen in California, none of them have ever had a garage which you can't access through a door. And I've been to quite a few houses. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Especially one that's kind of like out here in the middle of nowhere. The phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. What could it mean? It means I'm not going to answer it because I got to move these brake fluids. Brake slash clutch fluids. It just says brake on it. So it is brake fluid. What a versatile car. It uses the same fluid for the brakes and the clutch. Not answering that phone. I'm busy. Making me a good car. Alright, there is the last brake fluid. And I wish they did in two bags. One for food, one for not foods. So that would be nice. Then I wouldn't have to do that. So there are a few more things in the van we'll unload. And then we'll be done with the video. So next is the coolant. Come on, why are you inching along so slow, man? Coolant goes there. I probably shouldn't be putting things here because I'll attach the engine to the hoist and I'll just plow through everything and make a huge mess. But it's too late now. That was the designated spot. It's going to stay like that. Can I put the fire extinguisher in the... No, it doesn't look like I can put it in the holder yet. I have to actually mount the holder, then put the fire extinguisher in it. So I got to do an extra trip. YBR complained about having to take these extra footsteps. You know that. Can I reach that? Yes. I don't actually have to go in the van. Because that's the hard part. Is going in the van. That seems to take forever. You kind of have to hop into it and crouch at the same time. Make it easier like this. Just take them both out at the same time. Ha ha. Get rid of the hard part. I just need like five people in a row. And we can pass it on to each other. And just pass it until we're all the way into the garage. Okay. So everything is now in the garage. We are fully prepared to build the car. Except we'll be doing that next time. Because we are about to save. Because I don't want to start building the engine now because this video has already been going on for a while. So until next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.